You're good? Okay, all right, fossil friends. You know who this is, and I am at a property here in Alberta. They've invited Fossil Dad out from the Alberta Fossil Family to come out and check out all the amazing finds that they have found on their Alberta property. And you know what, guys? Alberta is one of the best provinces in the world. So many resources besides your typical oil, but we also have so much rare earth minerals and we have fossils. So again, thank you to Amanda, property owner, for inviting me out here. We learned a lot today, but today's lesson is going to more focus on septarian concretions. And what a septarian concretion is, guys, is it's organic matter that's been pressurized and captured by a volcano and over time formed a mud ball because, again, we're on the bottom of the ocean. This whole area used to be surrounded and covered in ocean. So our mud ball forms on the bottom and it grows over time, of course, because it's gaining more matter on the outside. And then, of course, this process over millions of years cracks the outer surface. And those surface leak minerals into what are concretion balls, essentially, or dragon balls. So you get all these kinds of amazing designs. So come on in here, Amanda. Let's, let's show the viewers here this right here. That right there is a perfect example. So you can see this ball was formed, this mud ball was formed, and these lines are all calcite that through water leaching over thousands of years created these designs. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna try to crack this guy open. So I think this is a septarian concretion. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know until we actually crack this thing could be an ammonite in there because we definitely got it from the mine site. But the truth is, guys, you don't actually know until you crack it open. So let's crack this guy open. So as always, we want to take our time. I'm just cracking along the middle. And you can see it's separating, which actually I'm surprised it's separating this much. I didn't expect that. I thought we were going to have to get the old sledgehammer out. Okay, so let's, oh, perfect, right on, right on, this is perfect. So this is definitely a septarian concretion. Exactly like I showed you before, 65 to 72 million years old. And again, that, that ball was found, cracks through time, leached in calcite to make those designs. Again, guys, you know, this is nature's art, essentially. So, and again, any piece of organic matter can actually make a concretion ball. A tiny speck of a, the end of a plant that died with the right conditions will actually create this kind of mud ball where you get these amazing designs created by nature. Again, uh, I can't tell you how amazing this is and super exciting because again, you know, at the mine, we do find these and we got to crack them open because if we don't, you just don't know. You absolutely just don't know. So again, septarian concretions are also known as dragon eggs as well. So depending on how long they've been uh, s surrounded, uh, depending on how long they've been surrounded, you're going to get better and bigger designs of calcite. And again, you guys stay tuned because I'm going to show you some of the awesome stuff that Amanda has found on her property in rural Alberta. Let me tell you guys, absolutely fantastic. Stay tuned. Okay, so as promised, we're inside Amanda's fossil museum here, and I'm telling you, lots of amazing stuff. So can you guys recognize it? Look at this. This looks like a tortoise shell, but tortoises don't do that. But when you look at it, look at this. So again, as I explained earlier, those are the calcite lines that form inside the mud ball over millions and millions of years. But look what it formed. Absolutely amazing. Same thing here. Look at this. Imagine finding this. So the same process. This was encapsulized, encased, and some mineral looking like, I agree with Amanda, Reese's Pieces. It really looks like you want to eat it. Uh, but very cool. This was encased. And of course, over here, We've got some scaphites, little shells, of course, because you're finding shells in an ocean environment, uh, body chambers, 
baculites. And then this guy here, of course, is totally cool. This is the mud filled uh, chamber, body chamber of a baculite. So post mortem. So you can see the little burrowing marks that some little critter made inside. So this is the body cavity where the ammonite, the baculite, swam back into to evade predators, guys. So uh, Amanda actually found the, the mud casing of the inside chamber. So super cool to find stuff like this. And again, so let's take a little bit of water and you can just, now the minerals come out huge. Look at this, look at that yellow. Just absolutely amazing. And of course this guy, well, we all know what this is. This is, oh, look at that. Look at the colors on this. And this was found in Amanda's garden. And look right here, you can see inside the body chambers, you can see the quartz crystal uh, inside the body chambers. You've got your suture marks. Uh, you know what, so much amazing stuff. So, you know what guys, let's close this up. I definitely wanna thank Dr. Chris Collum. He is our resident paleontologist and essential in helping us find out what all of this stuff is. And you can obviously see Dr. Collum's video with myself uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, we have a great series at the mine. You can see him with us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And again, other property owners, don't hesitate to get a shout. Let's get me out there and let's identify your fossils, guys. Let's have some fun. Okay, guys, right on. Take care and keep hunting, guys.